Northern California has always provided a home for diverse cultures, various entrepreneurs, and artists. The Gravity of Glass explores the creation, education, and entrepreneurial achievements of glass artists in the Bay Area, including arts such as glass blowing, stained glass, and sand blasting. With the incorporation of various creative outlooks and individual expectations of each of these artists, the Gravity of Glass was able to reveal the reality of the glass industry and the artists opening the furnace in the Bay Area. Glass opportunities lie within the heart of the Bay Area.
happens with the glass, um, we play with the heat of the glass. And the heat is what dictates what we can and cannot do with the molten basic material. And if it's too hot, it tends to just fall right off the floor. That's no good. So we're always turning. You'll notice we're all, our hands are always moving. If we don't move, it may be deliberate because we want it to fall, or we're forgetting. <laughs> so now we have to turn it the other way to make it fall back again. And the, the thing is, you'll hear me saying to uh, other people as well as myself, stay on center. If we stay on center, then the piece won't get all wonky. Right. And, it, and if it's off center and you turn, it gets worse. It doesn't get better. Normally, what would the temperature around be where you need the glass to sit when you're applying the glasses and rolling? Yeah, it's going to have to be, um, well, glory hole is 1,600 degrees. When it comes out of the furnace, it's 21. So it's a 500 degree gap. So with that, um, the furnace glass is the most soft. And that's when we gather our color, we can pick up things faster that way, we can pop our first bubble. Right. That's the time to do it. After that, we start, it starts getting colder, and it's only 1,600 degrees before we have. If that's the case, then we have a little bit of play, but it still gets a lot, but it's not as hot as the furnace glass. So it's harder to pop both of it's possible. Okay. At that point, we're manipulating the glass. More like shaping it. Well. Shaping it. Um, and then what you're asked about the marble table, right. what's it? It's like about an inch thick, not quite, um, just a big plate of steel. Yeah. yeah. What that does is it robs the heat, and we control it by rolling it around so that we have areas that we want it to take the heat from. For example, if I roll it on the side, I want to go at the bottom because that part's still hot, but the side's cold or cooler. So then I actually can go out my own. Vice versa, if I'm going at the bottom, I bring the tip part, and um, I'm pulling the bottom so that I want a thick bottom. She was there, thank God. And that's one of the things, I mean, what we do, it's really hard.